वेलकम टू मैथ्स मेड इजी टुडे वी हैव अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन इन्वॉल्विंग बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ पी इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस रूट टू एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू एज फाइव प्लस रूट टू आर इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगेन आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द व्यूवर्स टू सब्सक्राइब दिस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस कीप्स मी मोटिवेटेड थैंक यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड We know the value of p as five minus root two, and the value of q as five plus root two. And we need to find the value of this whole expression: one upon p q plus one upon q r plus one upon p r plus one upon p plus one upon q plus one upon r plus one upon twenty three. So let's see how to do. Now, in here you can see, I will be working on this two. Terms together and these two terms together. Reason: I want to simplify this expression before I put on the values. So whenever I will solve them in the denominator of this, this and this, I will get p q as a common term. So let me do that. One upon p q, p r, q r. Since r is common, I will send only p to here and q to here. So p plus q upon p q r. Q and P, P plus Q one P Q. The rest is same. Now, from the first three term, you can see that I can take P upon P Q common from the denominator. So if I take P Q common, one upon P Q in the bracket, I will be left with one plus P upon P plus Q upon R plus P plus Q upon one, and rest are going to be same. Now, we can substitute the value of p, q, and r because this expression is now pretty much simple. Because there is no more, there is only one multiplication that we are going to do here, p, q. Rest is only addition, addition. Otherwise, in the previous, if we put directly, there is a multiplication, 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 and many more. So let's put the value of p as five minus root two, and the value of q as five plus root two, and the value of r as three. Five minus root two, five plus root two, five minus root two plus five minus root two, p as five minus root two, five five plus root two. Similarly here. You can see this minus root two and plus root two get cancelled. Similarly, minus root two and plus root two cancel. Five plus five, ten, ten, and this is a minus b, a plus b, which can be written as a square minus b square, which can be written as five square minus root two, the whole square. Five square is equal to twenty-five minus two, that is three. So twenty-three. So instead of this entire term, I'm going to substitute twenty-three because of the finding. One upon twenty-three, one plus ten upon three plus ten because root two and minus minus root two get cancelled. Rest is same. Now, from here we can use a basic mathematics to solve. So let's do it. Three times one is three. Three times ten is thirty. Thirty. Plus ten, forty, forty plus three is equal to forty-three upon three. One upon three plus one upon twenty-three, one upon twenty-three. Now, this is done. We will work on this part. Twenty-three and three. So we have. Forty-three upon three times twenty-three. Twenty-three plus three, twenty-six upon twenty-three times three. Now, since the denominator of both the terms are same, so we can add them directly. Forty-three plus twenty-six is sixty-nine. Sixty-nine upon twenty-three times three. Now, twenty-three times three is nothing but sixty-nine. So it's sixty-nine upon sixty-nine z one, or you can go like this. Three. Twenty-three, so twenty-three upon twenty-three. Now twenty-three cancel twenty-three, so we have only one. 
so i hope you enjoy this video if you did then please like and subscribe to this youtube channel i'll see you in the next one thank you very much